Hey guys, Isabel here. Welcome back to Railed In. So this video is a video I've wanted to do for a long time. I've literally had these shirts since Christmas. They were a Christmas gift for my whole family. So thank you guys for that. This video is going to be a review of Harry Potter shirts, but specific shirts. They are from the Out of Print website and they are the Harry Potter book cover shirts. Unfortunately, these shirts are no longer available. There are other Harry Potter themed shirts on Out of Print. However, Out of Print did not renew their merchandising license with The Wizarding World, with Warner Brothers. Um, so unfortunately, you can no longer get these shirts on that website. However, if you look on Etsy or eBay or something, or a similar website like that, you may be able to find them if you really want them. But I'm just gonna show you guys what they look like, give a little review on it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So there are seven shirts for the seven books that came out. Uh, when I first got it, I was like, there should be an eight one because there's eight movies, but I was like, no, there's just seven books. So the first one, the first shirt is, and this is of course the Americanized, the American book covers. So the very first shirt is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So you have Harry Potter in yellow up here, and then you have the book cover of the very first American Harry Potter book. And for some reason, I feel like you notice a lot more detail on this shirt than you would if you look at, looked at the book covers. I've honestly, I don't think I've actually ever stared at, at the book covers for too long, um, which I probably should do just to appreciate them. But let's go over some of the stuff we see here. And also because some of the book cover, you know, concludes on the spine and also on the back side of the book. So sometimes if you don't think to flip it over to see the whole image, you might, you might miss out on some stuff. So we have Harry, he's on his broom and he's trying to catch the snitch. That's actually something I don't think I noticed before, but he's trying to catch the snitch in air. And in the corner here, we can see some of Hogwarts, the Forbidden Forest, and actually, there is a unicorn right here. That's something I, it took me a while, I did notice it on the book covers, but it took me a while to notice. That's not the very first thing that I saw when I was younger and I first started reading the Harry Potter books. And I'm almost, I haven't worn them because I'm almost afraid to wear them and like ruin. Sometimes if you like wash too many times, um, the like printing will come off of the t-shirt. So I'm like a little hesitant to wear them, but I'm glad that I have them and uh, I feel like at one point I definitely might display them. So the shirt color is black itself and I got a scoop neck for some reason. Um, I didn't realize because some of these t-shirts have different like cuts. So this is like a scoop neck, a U neck, whatever it's called. Um, but that's what this kind of t-shirt is. So that's the first book. Okay, so now this one is actually one of my favorites because I like the coloring of it a lot. The Chamber of Secrets out of print book cover shirt. The shirt is red, obviously, as you can see, with the silver Harry Potter, as well as the book cover for the second book. So on here we can see we have Fox the Phoenix, which honestly, it kind of blends in with the surrounding red. So I feel like maybe if you changed the shade of red, it would stand out a bit more. That's just my personal opinion. If you guys think differently, if you have this shirt, that's cool. But you can see Harry, he's flying out of the Chamber of Secrets with Fox. He has the Sword of Gryffindor attached to his waist. And in the background, you see a bunch of snakes. Or actually, I think it's just one big snake, but for Slytherin. And of course, the pillars have snakes on them, the design of the Chamber of Secrets itself. So the shirts themselves are super soft. I'm really happy about that if I do pluck up the courage to wear these without fear of like ruining them. Um, but like it does kind of feel like, cause I have had shirts like these in the past where you can kind of feel the image that has been placed on the shirt. So it hasn't been like sewed in or anything like that. It's kind of, it feels like it doesn't been like printed on. And sometimes if you wear the shirt too many times, if you wash it not on like a delicate cycle, um, the image will actually start to peel and that's my fear. And that's why I haven't worn them yet and probably will not wear them too often. But I think one day, definitely this one. I really like this one. 
I just like the coloring of it. Like you have the blue of the tile at the bottom, the act, the red shirt, and just like the book cover, I feel like was a really lovely book cover for the Chamber of Secrets. And then this is another you neck shirt as well. Now moving on to the third book, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. You can already tell that the shirt design of the actual shirt itself is different. This is the V-neck and not the U-neck that I've been showing you for the past two shirts. But I would say this, the color of the shirt is like a navy blue. It's not black, it's not gray, but it's not like true blue either. I think it's like a typical navy blue. The Harry Potter is in green. And then we have the book cover of the third book on the shirt. And of course the book cover is Harry and Hermione writing the hippogriff, Buckbeak the hippogriff with the Prisoner of Azkaban written in parchment. I think the most I like about this one is the green Harry Potter. I feel like that's not a color that is usually like written for the name Harry Potter in the Harry Potter font. Um, so I think it's really cool. So far, the Chamber of Secrets shirt is my favorite. I think so far this is my second favorite and then the original, the Sorcerer's Stone shirt is my, um, it's still lovely, I still love it, but it's like my least favorite so far. On to the fourth shirt. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. We're back to the typical U uh, neckline for the shirt. It's a black shirt with a very bright, I must say, Harry Potter book cover. And I think the Goblet of Fire is a great book cover, just like on the books themselves. So seeing them on a shirt is actually really cool. I love the brightness. It's like a gold, like a really like popping gold Harry Potter logo and it has the Triwizard Tournament on it. So there's Harry, Floor, Victor Crumb is on there and Cedric Diggory as well. You can see right in front of Harry is the gold, the dragon's egg as well as the dragon tail with the spikes on it. And then right behind who I'm assuming is Cedric over here, you see what looks like the hedges of the third task. And there's also some sort of beast back there. I honestly, and I honestly cannot tell what the beast is, what animal that is. So if you know, feel free to leave a comment. Okay, so so far, shirt number two is my favorite still. And then the fourth one, and then the third one, and then the first one. So onto the fifth one, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This is another favorite of mine. I love the blue color. And this is, I think, a regular t-shirt style. It's not like a U neck or a V neck. It's just a regular, typical t-shirt. But the Harry Potter is in white. And then of course we get Harry Potter surrounded by a bunch of candles and there's a bunch of doors. Some open, some close in the background. To be totally honest, I never actually knew the location of like where the book cover was. It might be the Ministry of Magic or Dumbledore's office, but this is where, this is the book where Dumbledore kind of ignores him. So I'm not too sure about that one. Or maybe he's just in the room of requirement. I'm not super sure, but I love, it almost has like an ethereal look, like a ghostly shadowy look. And I really like that about the cover and this shirt in general. And I also, I like the shirts that have like some like color to them. Like they're not just typical like black shirts. So, so far, I think actually Order of the Phoenix is first and then the second Chamber of Secrets shirt is second and then the Goblet of Fire, Prisoner of Azkaban, and then the Sorcerer's Stone is still the last one for me. Did I give all the... that's... we're at five, right? Mm. <laughs> He's trying to lose track of them. Okay, now this one I have always known was going to be my favorite. It's my favorite... one of my favorite books, actually. One day I'll go through uh, my rating for the books and movies, but it's a top, it's a top book for me. And also just this shirt. I've seen other people wear it and I've always loved it, but it's Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It's a dark green shirt. Green is one of my favorite colors. Harry Potter is in purple. And of course we have the sixth book cover. Harry and Dumbledore, either in the pensive, looking in the pensive, or they're in the dark cave where Dumbledore has to drink that potion. But I love how it basically, it like glows green. Like, so I think it is the potion or again, like the fifth one, it's a little bit ether, a little bit, little, it's a little bit spooky. And I like spooky things. So, and just the, the purple Harry Potter logo, the green, the dark green shirt. I just, 
I don't know what it is, but I just aesthetically, I just really love this shirt. So this is definitely my favorite. And then again, the neckline is just the regular neckline for a t-shirt. It's not a U or a V neckline, it's just a regular one. So, so far, Half Blood Prince is my favorite. I honestly think Chamber of Secrets and The Order of the Phoenix are tied for second place because I like them both equally, but also for different reasons. And then Scalp of the Fire, and then Prisoner of Azkaban, and then of course, The Sorcerer's Stone. And of course, the last Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So this shirt is gray, it has Harry Potter in red, and then it has, of course, the book cover of Harry Potter. Now what I find interesting is that the seventh book is like a goldish yellow color. There's a lot of yellow tones in it. But they chose to do gray for this shirt, which I think is kind of interesting. I would have thought they would do some sort of yellow or gold or like maybe like um, a cream of some sort. And this is again, we're back to the, the U-shaped neckline, but we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I actually feel like this one is least like the book cover because I don't have the books here with me, but if I'm recalling correctly, the Deathly Hallows book cover, I think also might have Voldemort on it. I think he's like in a hood and you see his eyes, I believe. But, th but there's a lot of like drapery also on the cover of the Deathly Hallows book. I mean, you do have Harry, like he is the main attraction and you have um, what looks like some sort of curtain in the background. But I'd say, honestly, out of accuracy, I feel like this one in particular could have been a little bit better. But that's just my opinion. If you guys have these shirts and this one is your favorite shirt, that's awesome. Okay, so ranking all of them now. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince is my favorite. I honestly think Order of the Phoenix and Chamber of Secrets, I think they're tied for second place. I love the colors, they're, it's, or it's red and blue. Um, I love the color of it, so they're tied equally for second place. In third place, I think, is the Goblet of Fire. I love the, even though it's a black t-shirt, like, I love the brightness of it, the brightness of the cover, the gold, and, like, all the sparkles. I love it. And I think it has probably, out of, I, I think it has a lot of detail. I think it's one of the top book covers that have, like, the most detail on it. And then... The Prisoner of Azkaban is fourth place for me. Like I, I like Prisoner of Azkaban a lot. It's also like a top book as well as The Half-Blood Prince for me. And then honestly, The Sorcerer's Stone is in fifth place. And then in sixth place is The Deathly Hallows, just because I feel like it's missing a little something. Um, again, this is my personal opinion. You guys, that might be your guys' favorite, and if it is, that's cool. But those are those are my rankings for the the t-shirts um but i love all of them i'm so glad i have all of them and again i'm like i'm a little nervous to wear them honestly just because i don't want to ruin them or like stain them or get them get them dirty or, or and in any sort of way so but i think i think i'll have to wear each of them once so i'll try to do that and then just maybe put them all in their own like wash cycle and like delicate and turn them inside out you know so that's what i'm gonna try and do that's what i'm gonna do just to say I've worn them, you know, like a shirt is supposed to be worn. <laughs> but guys, that has been my review for the out of print Harry Potter book cover t-shirts. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of them. And again, I hope you guys can find them if you don't have them already. Like I said, maybe on Etsy or eBay. But be sure to leave a like on the video, comment which of these shirts was your guys' favorite, and be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you know when I upload future Harry Potter merchandise reviews, as well as Wizarding World of Harry Potter vlogs. But guys, that's all I've got for you today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.